Welcome to the ClearBath OS 2200 release 18.0 technical update on WebSphere MQ WMQ 2200 level 9R0. My name is Mahmoud Hersey. I'm a developer for the WMQ 2200 product. WebSphere MQ on the ClearBath OS 2200 level 9R0 is based on version 9.0 of IBM MQ for Linux and was developed by Unisys under license from IBM. The three new features for WMQ 2200 9R0 are enhanced Unicode data conversion support, performance monitoring API, and enhanced activity trace through published subscribe, Q processor monitoring tool, QP monitor. Enhanced Unicode data conversion supports all universal coded character set Unicode defined in the Unicode 8.0 standard in data conversion, including full support for UTF-16. New file ccsid underscore part 2.tpl is provided, which takes precedence over the ccsid.tpl file and supports the addition or modification of CCSID entries, allows the definition of default conversion CCSIDs, specifies data for different command levels. For more information on this feature, refer to IBM MQ 9.0 documentation. Performance Monitoring API API statistics are published to a system topic that help users monitor resources. These statistics can be viewed by running the AMQS RUA sample program or writing an application that subscribes to the resource monitoring system topic. Enhanced Application Activity Trace Application Activity Trace produces detailed information about the behavior of applications that are connected to a queue manager. The ability to dynamically subscribe to this information rather than through queue manager level configuration has been included. Also, a sample program AMQS ACT is provided to view trace messages. For more information on performance monitoring and enhanced activity trace, refer to IBM MQ 9.0 documentation. QP Monitor is developed by Unisys and provides the following functionality. Monitors system resources and events by generating alerts and response to issues by displaying information pertaining to the issue on the key processor logs on OS 2200 console. Running a specified command or action such as restarting a service. By default, the QP monitor is disabled and will not start on boot of the key processor. There are four pre-configured methods, ULRM, BKUUP, Core, and FFST, and the user can configure others. You must be mapped as root on the queue processor to issue QP monitor UI command through UNX shell. QP monitor can be configured to monitor disk, memory, or CPU usage queue depth, full queue, age of the oldest message on a queue, MQ channel issues, critical MQ errors, system faults, messages on a dead letter queue, specific MQ error code, accessibility of a given host, specific message appearing in a system log, service stopped, queue processor backup or restore failure, file size, time synchronization between two HA nodes, network interface issues, and Linux system resources, including shared memory and semaphores. For more information on the QP monitor, refer to QP monitor online help or Appendix J on WebSphere MQ version 9 for ClearPath OS 2200 installation, administration, and programming guide. The QP monitor UI command to configure the QP monitor displays the menu 1 through 8. 1. View current settings. Displays a list of all the methods configured. 2. Edit settings. 
displays a list of all the methods configured and allows editing. 3. Add settings. Allows adding new methods. Within the add settings, L command lists all possible methods. Also, info method number or info method name provide detailed description of each method. 4. Remove settings. Removes a configured method. 5. Enable or disable QP Monitor. Enables or disables the QP Monitor to automatically start or stop on Key Processor Boot. 6. Start or stop QP Monitor. Displays the QP Monitor status, whether it is running or not. Also, QP Monitor can be started or stopped. 7. Help. Provides help on the menu and methods that can be configured. 8. Exit program. Exits the QP monitor. The QP monitor add setting example adds full queue method for the queue manager QM1 and local queue QL1. The queue manager and queue in this example need to be created before adding to the configuration. The string input takes the queue manager name and queue name, separated by space. The default triggering of minus one is used. Also, 20 seconds is entered for the time between events and 60 seconds for the time between checks. Once confirmed the accuracy of this information provided, the new entry will be saved. Then the default menu will appear and option six can be entered to start the QP monitor. This example shows the key processor's full queue alert. It calls the random QC to verify the maximum depth, max depth, and current depth, current depth for the queue. It shows the queue QL1 is full since it contains 5,000 messages, which is the maximum allowed. The console message full queue with the name of the queue manager and queue appears on the console message. Unisys offers a comprehensive set of ClearPath Forward services to enrich the value of your ClearPath Forward applications, data, and systems. Please contact your Unisys representative for more information.